This is Ryan with GameRoomSolutions.com and here I'm going to talk about Sling TV from Dish Network. It's basically where you can stream certain cable channels like ESPN and Disney, uh, TBS, TNT and a few others uh, over the internet. You don't need a Dish or anything from them, just a normal internet provider. Um, real quick, I'm going to show you how to load this on the Fire TV, but since this is a Windows box, I'll go ahead and show you the Windows version. So as you open it up here, you can see you have the channels going across the middle. It'll tell you what's playing now. You can get some information on that. Uh, what's coming up on that channel. Double click. It will go to a uh, full screen view or an information view. Escape out of that. So, Anyways, that's the Windows version. So to get this over, I have a Fire TV stick set up. And what you have to do is get your IP address off the Fire TV itself in the settings. Uh, and then once you have that, there's a program here I'll put the link to called the Fire Amazon Fire TV Utility App. So what you're going to do, and I have the APK file in the description as well, you will uh, grab the Sling TV APA, APK file by hitting Select, uh, File, Settings, you got to make sure that you have the correct IP address to your Fire TV in there. Connect. And you'll know it's connected when you get a C prompt here. There you go. And now all I have to do is the big button here says sideload third party application. So I'm going to hit it. It'll pop up, open another command screen. And you'll know when this is done when it uh... there you go you'll know that this is done whenever you get some text here so I'll pause this for a second so you don't have to wait and there you see I got some text in the C prompt so now I'm going to take my Fire TV remote go to settings and again this is a stick but it would work the same way on the full version of the Fire TV Oops. Um, applications. Manage all installed applications. We should see it here. Sling. Launch application. Looks like it's going to work. Now, just a warning I got an original APK file directly from the site. That one didn't work. Uh, so, the one I put in the description here will. It's the same one. So I'm going to go ahead and click the sign on sign in button in the top right hand corner. I'm going to enter my email address and password real quick. You'll see here that it uh, signed me in. Looks like it's going to load it up. And again, uh, the interface looks very similar to what we saw in the Windows a minute ago. And it's working here. Turn that down. So there you go. Oh, we'll hit ESPN just to change the channel. The Sports Center is coming on. And again, this is a Fire TV stick, so it's only Wi Fi. Uh, the quality here looks pretty excellent. So that's good news. All right, I'm going to go ahead next to this application because what I want to do now is I'm going to I use Cody, the uh, old XBMC, but I, I actually use Cody as my main interface on my Fire TV typically. So I'm going to set that up to, to, to launch the Sling TV from here. So in here, I have it actually set up with a cable card and an HD home run and Myth TV. So you can see here, I already loaded up all my digital channels, including my local. And I get, I don't know, a couple hundred channels doing it this way. And I can hit the program guide and all that. So the Sling TV would be for a guy, I would think, that probably has kids or just wants, as a sports fanatic and only wants the sports stuff. Um, and just wants to pay the 20 bucks a month. I'm paying like 65 or 70 uh, by the time I pay for all 200 channels in the cable card, but that's still a hell of a lot cheaper than the rest of, you know, most people are paying because I don't have to put on cable boxes, you know, or DVR service or anything on my house since I can run it all through Cody. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to Programs. Might take it a second because it's still trying to load those channels. And I'm going to go into Android Apps. And you should see 
hopefully yep there it is sling so if I click that you can see there it's gonna boot the actual sling app that we were just in so that way you can have all your local movies local TV shows all of that through Kodi with the great interface that you get there and then you could just kick over to your live TV uh, via the sling like that make sure it starts up here and there you go and now it's working alright cool so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of this application just to show you it'll go right back in or it should go right back into Cody here and again I use Cody because not only do I have DVR and all that set up but you can see here I have all my um, my local movies Oops. you know uh, local movies on my NAS upstairs that I can access and then of course TV shows that, that we have um, downloaded oh, I don't want to do recently added I'll just do like uh, TV shows in general so you can see here these are all the ones on my local NAS and that's why we use Cody because it's just straight awesome. Uh, but again, 20 bucks a month, you could pick up ESPN and Disney and the rest of the channels that come in that pack. I would also suggest that you get an HD home run. They call it an Extend 2 now, but it used to be called a Dual. And what you could do, put that on your network, plug an antenna into it. And I'll leave a post to guide to where I've done this. But plug an antenna into that device. I don't know, it's around 100 bucks. You would plug an antenna in, it'll serve up your local network channels. So just like you saw there, um, you, could, you could still serve all your local channels through here and record them and everything else with Myth TV. Um, so for instance, this is my DVR back to my Myth TV. So NBC, ABC, Fox, CBS, you could get all those channels through here and then you could kick over to the Sling TV if you wanted to watch ESPN for Monday Night Football or put it on for the kids or whatever. But you can see here, this is what ours looks like. So, uh, Grey's Anatomy, you know it's an ABC show. So you can see here. Uh, that's one way that you can still get all your local channels. Um, so this run off Myth TV. Uh, yeah, so anyways, GameRoomSolutions.com. I'll have all the links in the description. This works really well. I'm probably going to cancel the Sling TV because you can see i got a better setup going here. Uh, it is a little bit more expensive, but for me, it's just, I don't want to pay the cable guys a box, you know, pay them, I don't know, between 8 and 20 bucks a box for um, their service when I already have Cody boxes on every TV in the house. And again, the Fire TV stick here only costs, I got it on a sale during, around Black Friday for 24 bucks, but you can still get it under 40 bucks, and you can see that it works really well, both with the Sling TV and for movies, and if you also try to run your local channels through an HD Home Run Prime. So visit GameRoomSolutions.com. Thanks.